I got a phone call and I knew who it was. So I answered the phone and she was going on like, hey, how are you? And I'm like, I'm fine. How are you? And she says, it's not good. This woman literally got laid off and she tried the gig economy. The gig economy wasn't enough. And this woman is going to be evicted the end of this month, literally a few days from now. And she asked me, was there anything I could do to help her? And I said, no, there's nothing I can do. And we continued to talk for a bit. Then she's like, well, I got to go. I got things I got to do. I need to get on this gig economy. Now, here's the thing. This woman is extremely attractive. I would say she's 5'2", blonde hair down to her booty, pretty green eyes, nice breast, nice little booty, very, very sexy woman. And the reason that we parted ways was when we were dating, she knew that she was pretty. And she was like, you know, she actually said something to me and I'll never forget it. You're fortunate to have someone like me. Now, me at the time, I actually had three other women that I was seeing. And at that moment, she immediately got fired because essentially she was pretty. And I want to say it, she wasn't the best out of the four women I was seeing from a sexual standpoint because she was pretty, because she was pretty. And many men would come in, be all up in her DMs. But I'm here to tell you, the economy does not care if you're pretty. The economy does not care if you have pretty green eyes, because here's the reality. Unless you have a contributing skill set, the economy does not care about you. If you will notice in these TikTok videos that there was a lot of people who were um, talking about the struggle of the economy and how hard it was. And if you would notice, a lot of these women were really attractive. They were really attractive. But the economy, the economy does not care if you're attractive. Because essentially, this is where we're going. We're getting to a very real spot. There are many women that have relied on pretty privilege and they're finding out that pretty privilege does not work. Pretty privilege is essentially, let's go ahead and do the uh, class structure. I would say 80% of America is broke or close to broke. That's a lot of people. That's a ton of people, right? So we have all of these people out here who have no money, have no savings, have no credit. And this is something that I told you guys was going to happen when I was doing my videos talking during the pandemic. All of these people who were sitting at home on their booty, smoking weed, playing video games, having sex, instead of getting a new skill set, they wasted that time, they wasted that opportunity, and now the man ain't playing with you because you don't have any skill sets. You don't have that pretty privilege, it ain't working. <laughs> that pretty privilege like you know when I got rid of this chick um, 
she was pretty much the prettiest girl in my rotation, right? But I got rid of her because I had options. I had better options. I had better sexual experiences. So it was not a big problem to let her go. And this is what the economy is now saying to these pretty women with no skill sets, with no marketing skills, with no sales skills, with no technical skills, with nothing. The economy does not care if you are pretty. And this message is starting to hit home. You have so many women going to OnlyFans. And this is something that I actually did a little research on. The number of women who are doing, um, there's so many websites, these um, cam girls, where you can turn on the cam station. There, there's tons of them. And you will find the most attractive, pretty women. But this is one of the things that I've noticed. A lot of these women are performing their escapades in somewhat impoverished circumstances because I don't like the cam stuff. It does nothing for me. So that's not something that I watch. And I just started to notice that the majority, I would say 95 percent of them are doing their sexual escapades from lower income substandard housing. This new economy doesn't care if you're pretty. They're going to evict you. You're going to be homeless. And this is what she was saying. And after I got off the phone, I started chuckling. I was like, ha, ha, that pretty privilege ran out. Because, see, I am not in the uh, business of helping failed hoes. I'm not in the business of doing that because essentially, when you screw your relationship with me, we're pretty much done. I'm done because I know I can get more women because they're because statistically there are more women than men. Statistically, the stats are on my side, but the number of pretty attractive women who are going to be homeless. Well, this let me go ahead and give you what I feel is going to happen. The, the whole economy is about to explode. The number of women who are going to become escorts, prostitutes, cam girls. And let, let me just go ahead and give you the trajectory that I see. You're going to have a girl who's going to be a stripper. She's going to work in the stripper club. Then when she's at home, she's going to be a cam girl. And when certain people approach her in the strip club, she's going to be an escort. So she's not going to have one sexual job. She's going to have three sexual jobs because she's going to need that to pay her car bill, to pay her rent, to pay. She's going to be the, the biggest hoe on the planet. And this is what's coming in not 2025 or not 2024. This is coming in 2023. This is coming because essentially that whole category, that whole 80 percent of America that is damn near broke. There are not men in there who could afford to take care of a pretty woman. Can't afford it. Can't do certain things. And these women are going to get desperate. They're going to get Desperate. And I can just see it now in the red pill, the black pill, the purple pill communities, the videos that are about to come. Because these guys are going to love the failure of these pretty women. Once again, not okay looking women, not average women. I am talking drop dead gorgeous women are getting evicted are going to be homeless and they're going to turn to that whole lifestyle because that's the only thing they got. They have no other skills. They have no other skills. I remember, and this gets me to thinking, one of my exes is a technology consultant. She went to school and she does about $250,000 a year. 
and she is not ugly. I'm going to say on a scale of one to 10, she's about a six. Once she does her stuff up, she can be an eight. Once she puts on the makeup and stuff. And I got to say, from an X standpoint, that was one of my better women. See, the women out here with this pretty privilege who don't want to work, who won't, don't want to do, they're about to get a very rude awakening to something called real life. The landlord doesn't care if you pretty. He wants his rent. The landlord, the car people don't care if you pretty. They want the car payment. The credit card companies don't care if you pretty. They want their payments. And a lot of these women are starting to find out the failure of being pretty with no other skills. And this is not the only one of my exes to go homeless. This would be, I would say, the third one that has reached out. And it's kind of funny. Because essentially when we were dating, you know, I always treated my girls well. If they needed something, I hooked them up. But once you turn on me or once you feel that you can do better, I let you go. And I don't come back and get you. I don't come back and pick you up. There are no second chances. There are no do overs because once again, I have options in this economy. You don't have no options. And the number of really attractive women who are going to be homeless or, you know, they're going to be living with two, three, four roommates. It's going to be astonishing what's going to happen because the economy, once again, that six trillion dollars that the government put into the economy has created a problem. It's like, yeah, we're going to pay these people this money. We're going to keep them satisfied. We're not going to foreclose. No one can evict. We're going to do all this stuff. And these people who were already lazy got even lazier. And this is the situation that is facing us. The lack of having skill sets, the lack of being able to do anything versus just showing up and being pretty a lot of these women go to the tiktok videos and all this and you will see a lot of really attractive women whining about inflation crying about inflation saying oh inflation is killing me the price of grapes the price of bacon the price of eggs <laughs> every time i see them i start cracking up laughing because see that this is one of the big issues in america we have people who devote themselves on that pretty privilege. I remember the guy who became a meme, the handsome guy with tattoos on his face, and he was in jail, and all these women were losing their mind because he was so handsome. But he had no money. He couldn't take care of himself. And this is where we're going. This is why Hobo Nation is about to explode. You can be a Busted dude. You could be 330 pounds. But let me explain something to you. If you got some money, like you could be five, you could be five, seven, 300 pounds, but you got a good technical job, you can have a dime up in your place if you know what kind of game to have. Because pretty privilege is failing left and right. Go, you don't believe me? Check out the TikTok videos. All of these people, it's so hard. It's so hard. Oh, the price of grapes. The price of beef. Oh, it's so hard. The price of dog food. Oh. See, you don't see me sitting here talking about I cannot compete in this economy. I bought a brand new Porsche in this economy. I'm fine. But those pretty women with no job skills, with no other attributes. Wait until December. They will be lined up around the block. These number of pretty women who are going to be evicted, who will be homeless, who will turn to prostitution. 
Prostitution is going to explode. And you know what that means? The price of sex is about to go down. It's going to be very, very easy to get you some paid poontang if that's your thing. It's about to get hard. The economy is about to shift. Well, the economy has shifted. Like I said, once again, if you fall upon homelessness or you fall upon some situation after after we had a relationship, I can't save you. I can't help you. I'm not going to send you any money because you messed up the relationship. And what befalls you is what befalls you because the number of people going homeless is going to be at an all time high at the end of 2023.